And this is the last in our series of Big Four rolling stock. And appropriately enough, today we're going to make a brake van. To do that, you will need the following. 15 grey terracotta, 4 pistons, 4 levers, 17 nether brick stairs, 8 hoppers, 10 dark oak vents, 9 spruce stairs, 12 spruce slabs, 35 spruce planks, 107 spruce trap doors, 2 oak doors, 2 oak trap doors, 56 stone slabs, 4 lanterns, 2 chests, 1 iron bar, 1 furnace, 2 andesite wall, 2 nether brick slabs, waste block of your choice and optional is banners. I've got 2 S's and 2 R's because I'm making Southern Railway rolling stock. Let's get started with the undercarriage. And let's get started with the buffers. If you've watched the other tutorials, you'll be familiar with this. Okay. Pop a waste block down on your rails. Grey terracotta on top, remove waste block. That is one, two, three. So you end up with a row of three grey terracotta, straddling the rails, but one block up. Come behind and off the middle grey terracotta, we're going to put nine grey terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now add one, two, three. We're going to make the buffers, so piston on this side, piston on that side, levers placed at either end of the grey terracotta, open them up, and buffers. And I've got Crafty Fox to thank for that. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Go check him out. Do the same at the other end. And a lower half nether brick slab for a coupling in between the levers. Let's make wheels. Come to the buffers, leave one block gap. And on the next one, a right way up nether brick stair under that an upside down one and upside down right way up and there's your wheel. Come to the other end, do the same thing. And do the same on the other side. Ta-da! Wheels. Now grab your hoppers and put two on each wheel on the right way upstairs with the funnels going into the stairs. And now with dark oak fence in the gap between the buffer and the wheel, two dark oak fence, same at the other end, and between your hoppers we're going to put three dark oak fence. You've got to shift click for the first one, and then two, three. Do the same on the other side, and if you're wondering how I'm managing to float and place the fence on the hopper, I press shift and space at the same time. So I'm crouching and flying at the same time. That's the undercarriage done. Now let's make the bed of the truck. We're gonna start with spruce stairs. Come to any one of the pistons, put a spruce stair on top of it and one next to it. Do that at all four corners. Now fill in the space between the stairs with spruce slabs and fill in the rest of the floor of the brake van with spruce planks. And there's the bed of the brake van. Now we're going to build up the walls. On the inside of the van come to the first of the planks and put one, two and now build those up to a height of three. Fold them up to make a wall. Do the same on each of the other corners. Now you could build the whole wall up like that but I find that it does make decorating inside the van a little tricky and quite a lot of brake vans actually had sliding doors in the middle of the walls to enable easy parcel pickup and delivery. So that's what we're going with. So 
come to the outside of the brake van and on these middle three at the bottom you're going to place spruce trap doors and then working from the outside looking in you're going to build those up to a height of four fold them up to make your sliding door do the same on the other side now for the walls of the cabin of the brake van. So come to this little platform and one spruce trap door, leave a space and place one, two, three more. On the outer edges, build it up to a height of three. Do the same on this middle one. Now we need our oak trap door. On this trap door here, place an oak trap door and place a spruce trap door on top of it. Here we're going to need our waste blocks, one, two, and a spruce trap door on top. Get rid of the waste blocks. Fold all these up to make a wall. And there we are, we've got a wall with a window. Now to put the door in, we can't put it on top of a slab, so we put it at the front of the plank in front. It's recessed slightly in, there's not a lot we can do about it. Repeat the same process at this end. So one, two, three, leave a gap and four. And there's the cabin of the brake van fully enclosed. Now we've got to make the ends. This starts out very similar to all the other wagons. One, two, three, four, five. Now build that up one more row. And on the ends here, we're going to add two more. One, two. Same here. One, two. Fold them all up. And we'll add sliding gates. We'll need a waste block there, add your spruce trap door to it and shift click to add one there. Do that on all the other sides. Now if you want a way into the guards van you could either leave this completely open or you could just pop one trap door on. So it's like the gates open and that way people can come in and out. Let's pop the roof on. It's very similar to the roof of the goods van. So we're going to place a stone slab on top of the trap doors. We're going to fill in everything above the cabin. We're also going to take this out till it almost meets that trap door. It won't quite cover it. There's not a lot we can do. And find the middle and place an extra slab on top. If you're worried about that being spawnable, a piece of light grey carpet will do the trick. Okay, now we're going to add some lanterns for some light. Two at each end of this little end space. Come inside and we'll decorate. Along one of the walls where the sliding door is, put two chests joined up. In the very middle of the floor of the brake van, a furnace, and on top of that, one, two andesite walls. Over this side, a nice leather nether brick stair right in front of the furnace for the poor guard in the cold. Next to that, an upside down spruce stair table, and here, the all important brake lever. Now, none of this is spawn proof, so pop a couple of extra lanterns in just to keep things safe. So I should have said six lanterns in my materials list. My apologies. And there's the brake van done. You can leave it just like that. Quite a few of them were unmarked, or you can make banners with your favorite of the big four. I'm gonna use S and R for Southern Railways. 
To place these, you come across to this little wall section. You go across one, two, and down one, and shift click. Do the same on the other side. One, two, down one, shift click. Come around to the other side of the van and repeat the same thing. And there we are, one brake van.